How do you switch to another blueprint you've already made? I don't really quite understand how to use this. Up arrow. Right arrow, left arrow. Ah! Oh, sick. There we go. So this needs to be connected in over here, I guess. So what should I be running this thing into? Is there something that I can run the hydrogen generator into that will just burn the rest? Like someone said something about a door? Just a door? What kind of door? Just a regular door? Just the, the, what's it called? The nomadic or the mechanized airlock? But how would that burn my power the entire time? I guess without a smart battery, that's just how it behaves. And yeah, this thing doesn't generate any heat. That is pretty smart. Do they have zealots in this game? Excellent question. No, no zealots in this game, Mega Explosion, man. You got a solution for it, but it takes automation. Well, if I can just make a door, that'd be kind of sick. <laughs> I like the idea of not, you know, being forced to automate a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, so currently not a lot of this stuff is working. But this should technically do the trick. Assuming I can build all of the stuff. Oh, they can obviously not reach this place. Okay, you know what? I don't care. There might be some pressure in my base. Uh, what happens if I have too much pressure in my base, guys? What if my base is too... <laughs> too oxygenated? Everybody's ears are gonna start... Ooh, a new chef! I don't want to have the farter anymore! PJ Salt is gonna get replaced with PJ Sugar. We might have an accident happening in the near future. I just need him to get a couple levels. PJ Salt's bet is gonna be replaced here momentarily. Where is PJ Salt's bed? PJ Salt, this is no longer your bed. You don't get a bed. You get to... Um... I don't know. You, you figure it out. Sleep somewhere. I don't care. But not in a bed. Lock him in a room and deliver food. Put a gas pump above him to siphon natural gas for the barbecue. Never let him leave the space. <laughs> I thought I was fucked up. That sounds... Clever. <laughs> No, I have a natural gas geyser over here. I'll just kill him. Uh, I mean, um, I think that's more reasonable, okay? I think I think just getting rid of the guy will be a much better idea. Even though it sounds a bit messed up, um, the suggested theories here may be even worse. I will allow him to ascend. 
Well said, well spoken. Oh, maybe I can send him to another asteroid. PJ, do you have any skills? PJ, you go and explore over here, mate. I don't know what the plan is in this location. Um. Oh, no, 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 no. This is, uh, gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Calm down, dude. PJ, you can, uh, explore this. I will send you through the teleporter. There will be a better life for you waiting. I just want him gone. He can do some sp space exploration. And I think that's beautiful. This way we all help out the Empire. I mean, um... Oh, this is the return? Oh yeah, this is the receiver. Oh, this, this right over here is the teleporter. <sighs> he gets to either like live his life as a pioneer and create beautiful memories for the rest of civilization or he sacrifices himself. Both are reasonable outcomes. Who's cooking? BJ Salt, what are you doing? Everybody has popped eardrums, guys. I have too much oxygen in my base. Help! Help! <laughs> too much fucking oxygen. Didn't think this was ever gonna be a problem. Um... If I remove the high pressure vents though, it's not gonna generate as much. Should I replace the small or the big ones over here at the bottom too with small ones? I guess I should. Yeah, yeah, I'll use the the old one. Loco, we told you about popped eardrums about three hours ago. <laughs> Loco, we told you so. Okay, yes you did. But also, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Boom. So much oxygen. So much oxygen. PJ Salt, what are you doing? Or oh, sugar. Pump it into the outside of the base. It will help clean the environment. That is not a bad idea at all. So currently it's gas pressure or gas vent over pressure. Oh, that is actually kind of smart. I will, yeah, I will pump it up. So for example, this place over here is very polluted. Could I put a high pressure gas vent over here and just run it out? Does that work? Man. That is not a bad idea at all. Because currently this place is a bit of a mess. When has Chet not been smart? Well, I mean, um, I don't know. Sex is nice and all, but have you ever deconstructed your terrible oxygen generator? This is way better. I think. I think!
<sighs> Luckily, you're about to fill your base with polluted water yet again. It's a feature, not a bug. We like to have terrible things in our base. Look! Breathable oxygen! Well, Why is there pissing your old oxygen generator? No, 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 it's natural gas. Yo, PJ Salt, you really have to go, man. As soon as uh, PJ Sugar has his... Uh... Grilling is what I was gonna say. Put on your hat. PJ Salt. PJ Salt. Um, how am I gonna do this? Um, PJ Salt. I need you, um... Dead? Yeah, I'll I'll put it uh, I'll put it bluntly. Um, I can put down a door right over here. Someone needs to build this. I'm not a bad person, I promise. Oh no, that's unnecessary. Nobody can go through this door, except PJ Salt. PJ Salt can enter. Now what we do is um, manually micro PJ Salt in there. I will swing the axe. He who passes the judgment shall swing the axe himself, and then he'll slowly suffocate. I feel like we should probably do it differently than this. He farted live on stream, man. Come on, it's not that type of channel. Dude, this guy's farting like crazy. Holy crap, man. <sighs> this is a bit cruel. Maybe a bit. Maybe a bit. Um. I think they're nervous farters, yeah. Well, I'm gonna need a grave. Um, <laughs> suffocating in his own problems now, man. That's what you get. Um, can you can you build that? There's sedimentary rock over here. Maybe you can dig your own. Uh, right. Sedimentary rock right over there on the left. Um, I will make a tasteful memorial. <laughs> I'm a bad person, man. It's dinner time. Yeah. Oh, God Generator is maybe not the best game to play. This game has suddenly turned into RimWorld. <laughs> Guys, let me out! Guys, let me out, it's not funny anymore! Guys? Guys? I mean, I could also let him teleport. That is also an option, man. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll let him tell. okay, fine. You get one final shot. Man, I'm a horrible person. I've let him dug his own gr You can leave. Oh, he goes straight back to work. Okay. Um, you, PJ Salt, are assigned. In the teleporter. Teleport! Uh, 
Oh. So now we are on Rekia. Oh, there's a cryo tank over here too. The tank appears impossibly old, but smells crisp and brand new. A silhouette just barely visible through the frost of glass. A new pal is just an icebreaker away. Do I really want to start my new settlement with a farter? So wait, can I just start digging over here? What is this then? A plug slug. That sounds like... Anyways, um... I don't think I want to start a new settlement with a farter, man. I still don't think this is good. So wait, I can switch? Well, we have a natural gas vent very close by, so I don't think it's worth. Okay, please build this. So what happens right now to the other the other Jew? Oh, you can set up um, assignments for both things at the same time. Okay, just start building, I guess. It's okay if he gets really stressed out. So everything runs simultaneously. That's actually really fun. Only 50 hours into this playthrough, guys. It turns out the DLC did add content. Huh? Who would have thought? I mean, who would have thunk? That's correct English, right? I think that's correct English. Okay, we're gonna deconstruct this carbon skimmer over here. Loco ignores people without diamonds. Wait, do I? I'm such a bad streamer, man. But like everybody in the chat right now is a, has a diamond in front of their name. I don't see the rest. You have a sword? It's got a diverted circle. I appreciate you. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Subbing always optional. I am but a diamond. Cruising through this league. Proud to be a diamond. Okay, it's all dropping down. You have diamonds in Minecraft? Nice. Minecraft, an amazing game. Bad Bunny does no longer Twitch stream? The $5 a month lady no longer streams on Twitch? Did she not get enough dollars per month? She doesn't? Bad Bunny on Twitch, hold up. I don't know what her channel was. I can't even find it. Hold up, I searched Bad Bunny and the channel does not show up. Huh? Hey? 
Did she get banned? Oh, she changed her nickname? Kira Chet? Oh. Yeah, she quit streaming so hard, guys, that she was live for the last time yesterday. And the one before that, two days ago. <laughs> this is the fucking thumbnail of the stream. <laughs> Police. <laughs> okay, I see the content may have changed slightly. But in the wrong direction. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I thought you'd be aware of this game, but you didn't even know. Wow. I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. I figured of all people, Mugetsu, Gabriel, would know all these things. Disappointed. That's all I can say. The only one that does things in this game when I want him to is is Bri uh, Brian. <laughs> I meant Bob. Bob, Brian. If your name starts with a B, it's basically the same. Um, Bob makes his masterpieces whenever we ask. That's why we love him. He makes paintings and statues and everything right away. Ooh, you need a toilet? No, you don't. Keep digging. It's okay, there's only one person there. According to guys in the chat, this was preferable to being locked up in a room. Curious, curious. Curious is the trap maker's art. His own efficacy on witness by his own eyes. The power is going to my head, chat. Someone stop me. Crude oil? Where did that come from? Ba 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 da, 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 da. I don't really know the American National Anthem very well. The last time I heard it was during the Formula One race in Texas. And I don't know about you guys, but that lady, she went a little hard, man. She wasn't just singing the anthem. She was, she was singing many things all at once. She was just going all over the place. Just from like that. It was all over. It was beautiful. She became, she embodied the anthem. And I think that's beautiful, man. The new Formula One season is starting again in like a month, Chad. I think a month and a half. Oof. That's gonna be good. Who are you cheering for, Chad? Testing at Barcelona? Ooh, Miami F1 is in May? There's a Miami race? Lewis Hamilton? He might win, sure. You're trying to go? Dude. I don't know what the prizes are on tickets in the States for an F1 race, but it is gonna be very expensive. 
Yeah, Las Vegas. You're cheering for some more competition from Ferrari and Mercedes? I mean, to be fair, last season was fairly competitive, at least at the start. Until it wasn't. <laughs> <sighs> Max broke the record for most wins in a single season. Yeah, but remember the beginning of the season, though? Remember the beginning of the F1 season last time? Like, Ferrari was even, you know, alleged to be decent. People were even talking about a fucking Leclerc, like, winning the whole thing. The first three races were quite competitive. Everything else after that, um, maybe not as much. Like who? Leclerc. Charles Leclerc. For some reason, he is uh, my girlfriend's favorite. I wonder why that is, man. Leclerc has a very, very uh, big fan base. He streams on Twitch? He doesn't. Nora streams on Twitch, right? Does he have a strong chin line? Yeah, yeah. Leclerc, Leclerc like... Uh, S tier genetics for sure. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do, 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 do. The Ferrari guys in general, uh, I still can't get over that picture that was posted on the Formula One subreddit when uh, Mr. Sainz took up his hel or took off his helmet, and for some reason his hair is pristine. Makes absolutely no sense. Uh, let me see if I can find it. It's pretty funny. Yeah, look. Carlos Sainz helmet hair would put Elvis Presley in his prime to shame. So this is Sainz after he takes off his helmet. <laughs> That's just a little unfair, man. That is... <laughs> That does not seem reasonable. All he has to do is wear a helmet, and that's what happens? I don't know how. I don't know how. What are the temperatures in my base? A chilly 29 degrees. 19 degrees. Nine. Nine! Um, honestly, it's fine. Bedrooms are nice. You know, it's 16 degrees in the bedroom. That's pretty good, man. Right? Everybody needs a nice, cool bedroom. Loud warning? Oh, God. Nothing. What? <laughs> this is Leclerc streaming on Twitch? I didn't actually know he streamed on Twitch. Uh, la fake charlotte là. Ah! My girlfriend... <laughs> My girlfriend is on Twitch telling me to open her the apartment. Poor her. Wait a second. <laughs> I've had that happen on my stream, but I don't have 10,000 live viewers. Aw, oh, man. She bought a sub for it? That's funny. I think they broke up though, guys. If I recall correctly. <laughs> pig locked Dot out on the balcony once during Pig Fest? Wow. Wait, 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 wait! Pogchamp! Pogchamp! Calm down! Pogchamp is destroying stuff, man! Pogchamp? 
Pogchamp, you now get to live on this schedule instead. Not like this. You also get to live on that schedule. Stop destroying my things! Not cool, bro. Did he give him the finger as well? I feel like he gave him the finger when he walked off. What a jerk. Okay. Looks like this thing is finally running. Or at least, you know, set up reasonably well. Okay. And then this has to connect in. Over here. Yes, it has to connect in over here. I need to find a way to get over there. Uh, okay, you know what? Nothing a little bit of spaghetti can't fix. I love spaghetti. Spaghetti is a solution to many problems you can have, Chet. They have hypothermia in my base? Wait, someone had hypothermia? Yo, I don't want to sound too excited, but... <laughs> After having a base that was too hot, that is... Progression. Dude, I turned into such a dick when I played this game for too long. That's... <laughs> Bog, dude. Hypothermia. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Precisely what we needed. Okay. Go, 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 go. Oh, I actually have to head off in like three minutes. There are no massage tables, no. But I have a room with a, a water cooler in it. Honestly, we ended things with a pretty good spot though, right? Like in a, a really good position here. Ooh, she does not have the super digging thing. Don't leave us alone, Loco. I'm sorry, man. A little meeting about I am Katowice. It's called being a professional chat. It means you have meetings. That's how that goes. Jeez. No, I, um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to head off. I want to just get this thing up and running. <clears throat> that would be really nice. So we have this disconnected from... Uh, or we have this automated as well. So our power is all automated. That would be really sweet. It's actually so cold in our base, dude. That is hilarious. I guess I've removed the, the temperature generating monstrosity over here. This is gonna cool down pretty soon. Yeah, I've got a meeting with the Zerk Cabal, so I gotta I gotta head off. What is Zerk? Did I say Zerk? That's okay. Someone made a miss. No, it's fine. Just do a little bit of exploration, okay? Prepare the land for the people. Okay. Um, I have to set up the settings over there. And other than that... I do have to get... Igneous, rock, sucrose need to go. 
Okay, that's it. So in theory, this should be running all of that. Whoa, I have colors at the top of my screen there for a second. You see that? That was weird. Okay, very nice, very nice, very nice. Very, I was, I made a, an emoji. I wasn't just, <laughs> I did not mean to type, anyways, doesn't matter. Guys, guys, we're back. Last time I played this game, we built this abomination right over here. This abomination is called a Fu Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Um, it basically provides oxygen. Water is pumped in at the bottom. It goes in through a bunch of these electrolyzers and then through the power of gas, right? This is amazing. Certain gases go up, other gases go down. We pump the... Uh, what's it called? The hydrogen over here into these hydrogen generators. Bada bing, bada boom. Magical oxygen. As long as we have an input for water, we should have infinite oxygen over here in our base. And so far, if you look at the oxygen overlay, look at this place, man. Light blue is good, by the way, in case you were wondering. I mean, there's still a little bit, but this will settle out over the course of the next couple of cycles. Uh, we've got tons of oxygen right now, which is really nice. Um... Input is water. I have an infinite water supply thing right over here as we have a um, water geyser, uh, a cool slush geyser. So as far as all of that goes, we should be a-okay. I did have some pollution over here in my water treatment plant, which kind of sucks. Um, but it seems to be sorting itself out. Yeah, sadly some germs managed to get into this pool over here, which kind of sucks, but the duplicants aren't sick. And, yeah, they're pretty happy overall. Uh, as far as food goes, so we are eating barbecue primarily. Barbecue is made out of meat. So real quick, I will show you my horrible setup um, as to how we are producing said meat. I am farming hatches. The stone hatches eat base resources that are dug up everywhere. So I think they're currently eating sand or whatever. Or, or sandstone, sedimentary rock. They eat a bunch of shit. Um, they then fart out a bunch of coal. Coal is being used over here to power the base, which is pretty neat because it is automated over here as well. We've got like a um, conveyor belt that goes from there and that basically picks up the coal and then brings it over there. Um, we should theoretically get more of it moving forward as well because I am trying to expand the amount of stone hatches that I have gonna take a little while but it should sort itself out um other than that these things also lay eggs so the things that these guys poop out and the eggs that they produce they are all brought on over here coal is gonna go south the eggs themselves are dropped off over here inside of this conveyor loader and are then brought on over here towards a drowning pool The drowning pool is um, magically converting eggs into meat. Now, there is one that apparently did not... Uh, I don't know what happened here. I will attack a bunch of guys. Pip, you can live. I've got a lot of pips here, though. Interesting. Anyways, um, the meat then gets brought on over here. Now, we're not drowning eggs. We're drowning incubating eggs. So, apparently what they do is they hang out in this little pool, and then they incubate, and they magically get, uh, get wrecked. It's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. Definitely not exploiting animal farming at all. At that point, the meat gets brought on over here from a conveyor belt, or on a conveyor belt, all the way up north. And this is where the electric grill is located, and where we are creating barbecue. It's a bit of a, a complex system, but it seems to be working well so far. And I'm pretty happy where we're currently at. I don't even really know what my next project should be, if I'm being honest with you. I can continue digging out the base and get more stuff done, but... I've automated murder, yes. What happens if I run out of sand and rocks? Then it's GG. But obviously the idea is that we, um... Get out of here before that point. I'm gonna need a, uh, a pilot here before too long. I already have a pilot, don't I? 
I thought I already had a pilot, actually. Yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, is our pilot. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna be our pilot. So I don't think I really need another one. No, I'm gonna pi I'm gonna just print out another one of these pipsqueaks. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with him. Um, so you can go to other planets and other areas. So I think the ultimate idea is that we, um, yeah, we just import resources from another planet. But yeah, there is always gonna be a limiting resource, I guess, in the game. But for the most part, everything seems to be okay. I'm open to recommendations, though, as far as, like, my next project goes, because I'm not even entirely sure what I should do. Oh, right. Um, I do have another planet over here, too. We're using a teleporter. This is where we sent PJ Salt. PJ Salt has been replaced by PJ Sugar in the main base, because PJ Salt is a farter. PJ Salt farts. She uh, creates natural gas. So... We voted on it. I wanted to lock her up and, um, you know, um, <clears throat> kill her. But we voted and Twitch Jet decided that instead she gets to have the honor of um, running this planet temporarily instead. So I don't know exactly how well she's going to do in this place. But we're using her to dig out a bunch of resources and to just uh, get a start. Your wife tells you you also create natural gas. That's beautiful, man. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions as to what I should do next, I'd like to hear it, because I'm not exactly sure. Make things pretty? Well, you're already here, Loka Mooney, so how can I make anything any prettier than that? <clears throat> Sorry. Remove spaghetti? What do you mean? Spaghetti is a feature, not a bug. You make it sound like it's a bug. Um, I will create a little pipe over here. I think that's a good idea. I will clean up the whole base. Take the steam geysers or go collect oil. Yeah, but oil is not on this on this map. I might have to pump out the hydrogen, yeah. But I'm hoping if I have enough oxygen in this place though, the slime lung will die over here, which I think it will. This base is pretty stable, though. Okay. So let's have a look at the research that I can still do. So these things that have, like, a yellow research requirement, I can't do currently. Because I need, like, a, an additional thing. Smelting? Okay. I guess you can queue that up. Artificial friends. Sweep up solid debris and liquid spills. Ooh, okay. Automatically digs out materials in a set range. I can just use duplicates for that, though. The space program. A rocket platform, solo spacefarer, nose cone. We can build a rocket. Kills a significant amount of germs present on raw ore. Remove salt from brine or salty water, producing water. The game is tricky, though, when it comes to that focus, right? Because you can technically do anything. Uh, probably later, Nibbler. Oh, shit. There's another one as well. There's this one, too. Orange. Press T in chat if you are here because you enjoy being triggered by our favorite sex icon, low hot, low hot. Okay. 
Thank you for the resub. If you want to play with rockets, you should play Kerbal Space Program. I've never played Kerbal Space Program. Um, it's one of those games I've been wanting to check out, but I never have. I should probably, right? Yeah. Do do do. Do do. Someone made a mess. Oh, that's you again on the other side. Okay, so we'll just let her digging it all the way down. Or maybe she can't actually... Oh, I think PJ Salt might not be capable of digging some of these rocks. Let me see. PJ Salt. Yeah, no, she can't. I kind of need these, but she doesn't have the morale for it. I guess we can give her those things, but I don't think... She's probably gonna freak out. I don't really want PJ Salt anymore, guys. So, if she um, dies in the process here, that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. Yeah, yeah, it sucks, but it is what it is. I know, I know. It makes me sound a little bad, but... She might accidentally die. I hope so. I mean, um, I hope not. You support it? Thanks, man. So usually the way we play this game is with like... A lot of... Oh. Ceiling collapse. Insufficient oxygen generation. I highly doubt that we have insufficient oxygen generation. Um... I don't know. Normally we do this game with like pretty significant projects. All in one go, but... What's going on, Argyle? Thank you for the rate. Hope you had a good stream. Appreciate it. Cleaning up some of the spaghetti is definitely a... A good task, though. A very noble task. So there's the supply teleporter input right over here. This is leading all the way up. I can certainly deconstruct these tiles as well and drag that ladder down a little bit. I could set up a colony where PJ Salt is currently dying. Right, right, right. But like, as to what reason though? Other than building another colony. Oil? Yeah, but so what do I need oil for? So oil is useful for plastic. There might be oil there. Yeah, but like what else? Rocket fuel? Mmm. America loco? That's a good point. Freedom? Mmm. I didn't consider freedom. We don't even have cars in this game, though. Uh, where's all this liquid coming from? Ah, it was this little pool over here, I remember. Yeah, so there is this advanced research thing that I can get. But it seems very tricky. One thing I wanted to clean up was some of my power wires. But do I really want to do that though? Because it's... <laughs> it's kind of a mess. I think it's honestly fine. Fine may not be entirely the correct word, but... This one has a potential load that's plenty. This one has a potential load that's too high. But these things never all run simultaneously, so I don't think it's a huge problem. I think it's fine.
Um, what about the next line? This one does 1570. This one has still a lot of juice left over. Yeah, there's barely anything connecting to the research stations. Ooh, I have not set up a transit or a transit tube system yet. No, that is actually a very good point. How do you do that again? That was always really fun. Tube. Transit tube. Yeah, there it is. Oh, okay. I need the special things for that too. Applied science research is required to unlock materials for that. Okay, so applied science research. So they made that. That's a new thing. That was not in a game when I played it earlier. But yeah, looking into applied science might be a good idea. We need people going to university. Okay, that's what we need. Um, science, man. Do you believe in science, Hartnepper? We need engineers, not influencers. I agree, man. Fuck influencers. Assigned duplicates must possess the applied sciences research. Okay, so this is what we need. It's just that in order to run this... Not only does this require a lot of power, which I guess we just looked into. There's uh Oh, that's the wrong fucking place, Loco. Um, 